We have team coverage, including a look at what we'll see for the rest of the week. Yeah, let's begin with KBOI 2 Scott Logan. He joins us live from Bogus Basin, where the focus has gone from winter to summer. The snow may not be still up here, but what I want to show you is that this is one of the beautiful new mountain bikes. There's 20 of them that Bogus Basin will have available to rent this summer. Unto everything there is a season, and this summer will be a season of firsts for Bogus Basin, including the first time Bogus ever rented mountain bikes on the hill. In the past, the ski resort would run the lift in the summer, but you had to bring your own bike. We plan on doing that again this year. However, we're expanding our operation a little bit uh, through longer weekends and able to offer some rental bikes to those customers that uh, maybe don't have a bike that they feel is suited for the hills uh, or don't have a bike. Maybe they're traveling from out of town. 20 brand new bikes have arrived and are being assembled at the rental shop. The bikes are Diamondback brand made in Kent, Washington, and there's a variety to choose from. All of our rental bikes this year will have a dropper seat that will help the downhill ride uh, be a little bit more comfortable and enjoyable when you're cruising downhill. Then when you hit a little uphill or a flat, hit the button, dropper seat pops up. Bogus plans to spend nearly $4.3 million in the next several months to turn the popular ski resort into a multi-season destination, adding a mountain coast climbing wall among other fun things. But the bikes are a good first step for a resort that's home to a community of avid bike lovers. Grand opening for Bogus Basin Summer Extravaganza is July 1st. That's when the mountain biking season will start up here. And you can see behind me, there's lots of work going on as they're getting ready to transition the resort into a summer destination. Live at Bogus Basin, Scott Logan, KBY2 News.